Hello, my name is Sarah Young, and welcome to the Netherlands, more specifically to the provinces of North and South Holland. The Dutch Golden Age, roughly spanning the 17th century, was that era in which Dutch trade, science, military, and art were among the most acclaimed in the world. Today's echoes of that time can be enjoyed in the culture of the country. For example, tulip mania of the past has transformed into the Alsmere Flower Auction, which is the largest international trading platform for plants and flowers in the world. Daily, about 20 million flowers are traded here. Amsterdam's Botanical Garden, founded in 1638, is one of the oldest in the world. Less expensive than imported Chinese porcelain, Delft Blue was originally created in the 17th century using locally available clay and decorated with intricate designs. Tracing its roots to the Dutch Golden Age, today the Netherlands is one of the world's largest exporters of cheese, exporting over $4 billion worth of cheese in 2018. The origins of Dutch chocolate trace back to cacao trees growing wild in the Caribbean and Latin America and transported in Dutch vessels throughout the world. Dutch wooden shoes, still worn by some farmers today, are crafted from a single piece of wood. The Dutch have a saying, God made earth, but the Dutch made Holland. Over the centuries, the Dutch have built a series of canals, dams, dikes, and pumping stations to keep the sea and rivers in check. The Netherlands is a world leader in the field of arts and culture. On this journey, traveling on the barge, Lisa Marlene, we are privileged to enjoy an impressive variety of classical and contemporary art. The Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam is an international museum dedicated to modern and contemporary art. Also in Amsterdam, we have the opportunity to visit the Rembrandt House, where Rembrandt lived and taught between 1639 and 1656. In the house, we are able to view some of his etching plates as well as a self-portrait. Further afield, the Kroller Mueller Museum houses the world's second largest collection of works by Vincent van Gogh. In its collection, there are works by other artists of the 19th, 20th, and 21st century, and it includes one of the largest sculpture gardens in Europe. 
Established in 1862, the Franz Halls Museum is dedicated to the artist who played an important role in 17th century group portraiture, as well as works by some of the other great old masters of Holland. And as we have the opportunity to travel by barge, we are also able to find ourselves immersed in the landscape and culture reflected so perfectly in the art. The architecturally stunning 17th century Muret House Museum contains over 800 works with an emphasis on 17th and 18th century paintings by leading masters of that time, of whom today we still remain in awe. And our last museum to visit is the Dordrecht Museum, founded in 1842, which also houses a collection of artists from the last 400 years. And although it seems that the Dutch Golden Age art dominates the past, it is important to also understand that compared to its neighbors, the Netherlands had a history of religious tolerance. For example, in Leiden, Peterskirk is associated with the Pilgrim Fathers of the Mayflower, who had immigrated to Holland before they then returned to England to continue to America. And it was in Rotterdam's Pilgrim Fathers Church that the Pilgrims last worshipped before their journey. As our travels come to a close, we realize that the Holland provinces are rich in history, but they are also places not afraid of change. Old buildings are restored or reused. New architecture reflects the old. Empty roads are converted to bike lanes. International opportunities continue to flourish and the beauty and vibrancy are all pervasive. In addition to affording us an opportunity to view firsthand phenomenal art, this journey through charming towns and villages has also given us a glimpse into the joyful spirit of the people and the pride that they have in their country and its culture. <music> <music>